All right, the final one. Part three of three. Number four brewery is gonna be Horse and Dragon. And at number six, we are going to, I'm gonna butcher this, it's German. We're going to Prost, Prost. I don't, I don't, clearly don't speak German. English is a little rough and that's my native language. So don't expect me to be speaking German. Um, anyway, go ahead and let me know what you guys think of this video in the comment section down below. Here we go. Bring on the first beer. Let's do it. Where are we at? Horse and Dragon. We have six beers to try. It's the first one. Kat has no idea what we got. I have no idea what we got. There's the first one. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. It always looks like banana water. Like I feel like they just put a banana in a bunch of water. There's no banana in that one. Okay. There's a different okay. flavor. It's an older style beer. I don't know what to say about this one. Like, if I picture a generic beer, it would be this. Like, do you do you notice a hint of any citrus in there at all? No, I'm not getting any nothing citrus. at all. Because there's two added, two added flavors. Lime and lemon. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Take it away. All right, Bring the next one we're doing, right there. Probably not going to be a fan. Look how clear that is. That's so clear. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, is this an IPA? No. Oh, I thought it was pink, so it's not top of it. You're not far off. It tastes like soap. Like nice soap, soap like classy soap. So you're getting like the uh, floral aroma, maybe the like piney. Floral. Not not much pine. I'm not getting any pine salt. Are you getting hops at all? Okay. I don't really know what hops taste. Like. I have no reference point for that one. That might be what you taste. That might be the soap. That might be the soap. All right, you'll probably like this one. Okay. This will be Kat's favorite of the six. Oh, I'm is calling this panda, it. The panda. No. 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 I okay. Because horse and dragon oh. does have one of my. Sorry. Like if I had to drink beer. It would be the panda, some black and white. Got broads in it. A sad panda with broads like in Atlanta. My... <laughs> I like my pandas happy. Thank you. Oh, this is a nitro. Is it a... Ding, yeah, ding, it's ding. so much smoother. Okay. It's like a milk, like a milk stout. It's so your local. It's called your local nitro. Your loco or local? It says your local nitro is all it's called. Nitro brown. It's a brown ale. So far, we have a number one. You do the honors. All right. Here we go. Black as night. Obviously a darker beer. I do. Yeah? I'm getting hints of like a, a chocolate. Not like a milk chocolate, but more of a, a dark chocolate. Kind of a sweet a flavor? Su a sweeter for beer. Okay. Um, You're dark on. chocolatey, smooth. So this is a maple porter. So when you maple. said it's a very dark, it's a, that would be the porter part, and then mm. uh, guessing the maple. the maple might be the sweet you're getting kind of mm -hmm, with it. Mm -hmm. I've never had this beer, so I actually don't know what it tastes like either. Like I wouldn't pour it over my pancakes, but it's still good. It's still very good. Cat has one more to try here. I haven't had this beer either, so it'll be new for okay. both of us. Definitely lighter, not super light. Very so it would orangey. be a... First impression, I would think, would be like a, a more citrusy flavor, more lighter vibe that I'm getting. Mm. But last one to try at Horse and Dragon. I am getting a fruity aroma. Can she name the flavor for a million bucks for all the marbles? She hates Ooh. the beer. What's the citrus flavor? That'll wake you up. It's only gonna be about you have about six options for citrus flavors. What do you think? I'm gonna I'm gonna go crazy on this one and say gr grapefruit. You're not. I would say you're not that far off. It's no. peach. Oh, peach. I will not get a peach. I mean, if you said like Granny Smith I mean, apple, that, that would be way further off. Okay. 
So this is their staple beer. What is that? It's a Weiss beer. Weiss? Weiss. I'm trying to sound German. Do I sound German? Weiss. No. Weiss. Weiss. Just kidding. Okay. I'm not, think... not into that one so much. Nope. Didn't think you would be. This one? <laughs> Uh, what is this one? This actually, this beer I just tried in there. I've never had before. Uh, is totally different than totally different. A than, totally different beer. Honestly, okay. yeah, than pretty much anything I've ever had. You're gonna get a barbecue taste. Just I let it. I do get a barbecue taste. Take another sip. You'll. Uh, they said it's a, a spicy barbecue flavor. I do feel spicy barbecue. I don't know if I want to drink a spicy barbecue per se, but I'm definitely getting spicy barbecue. What's it called? Ah, uh, I'd have to look at the sheet here. Well, look at the sheet here. It's a roast beer? It's a rock bike. <laughs> rock bike. Bless you. And then the first one was the uh, Weiss beer, which is a okay. banana wheat beer. Banana? I didn't get mm -hmm. banana in that one. It's very light. It's not bad. All right. Okay. I'm not going to tell you what the next one is, though. I can't get it out. There we go. I couldn't get it out. Okay. I don't know what people smell for when they smell beer, but I didn't get it. Well, they don't, they don't try to snort the beer. <laughs> it's, a light, it's a light sniff and then a big gulp. Fair. Okay, number three. Not, I, it's not bad. Like, it, it's really not bad. I, I, I would seek this out so that's the dunkel but it's a, i wouldn't say no it's a dark lager that's dark Sorry. malty with a hint of clove i do like the darker ones 5.6 percent beer too so. all right last one well last taster for here for prost tell me what you think okay so this one's going to be different than the first three This is one of my favorite beers here, and I you hate, hate it. it? What? I hate it. Oh my gosh. Like, it's a good beer. Like, it's, it's, I, I'm it's not a good saying, beer you hate. I'm not saying it's a bad beer or anything, it's but it's a strong you, word. We all know I'm not a beer drinker. And, like, why? I just, of all the things in the world that you could be putting so, through your mouth, so that's an why, alt. Why is this one of them? Well, that beer is called, it's an, it's called alt beer. Alt? Uh, it's an alt beer, and it's, it's amber, beer. crisp, and bitter. So maybe you don't like the bitter part. Maybe I don't like the alt of it. The alt and bitter. Sorry. It's, I, okay. So if I had to rank them. Right. So one, two, because this is basically water at this point. The um, vice, the banana wheat. And then, I don't know, hang on, I'm gonna try. So the vice beer is a, uh, is a Bavarian wheat style okay. that's wheat, banana, and clove. Right. What about the barbecue though? You don't like the barbecue? This is three. Really? You like that barbecue one? I mean, I don't like it. It's crazy. Se, per se. I've never it's had that. It's very interesting. It's a very interesting taste, a very interesting aftertaste, a very interesting flavor, color, clarity, cut, cost. She and knows nothing about beer. I got nothing for you, ma'am. I got nothing. But that would be three. And then this one, the last one on the list, the, uh, the alt, the alternative beer, is four. Thank you guys so much for watching. That concludes our Virgin Beer Drinker rates uh, local brewery beers. I learned a lot, like a lot, a lot about beers. I like sours. I like the darker ones, like the stouts. Do not like an IPA. But I had a great time and thank you guys so much for watching.